Today I will show you how to apply short full cover tips without leaving your workstation covered in tears of frustration when you're done. Gone are the days of feeling like you'd sooner rip your hand off than try to apply these tips again. You'll only need two things to construct the tool. Something with a flat end like a brush cap or a pen, and something sticky like tape or even better double-sided silicone tape. I'll show you with both methods. For the silicone tape, I'll leave the link in the description. If you are doing this often, um, this is probably the way to go. It is much simpler. Uh, so all you do is cut a tiny square off like I did and put it on the end of your brush and make sure you really press it down. Press it like it's the deal or no deal button and the banker just gave you a low ball offer. Like press it hard. <laughs> so once you got that on there, the hardest part of the entire technique will happen which is getting this backing paper off of the tape. Uh, but once you get there, it's pretty much smooth sailing. <laughs> so once you have that done, you can just set that aside. But now I'll show you how to do the same thing with tape. And it's not as simple as just putting tape on there. Because what makes this work with the silicone tape is that it has a little bit of give and flex to it. So if you're going to use tape, you're going to want to put something squishy behind the tape. Like here I'm using just a tiny square of paper towel, but you can use a cotton ball or a cotton pad or toilet paper, whatever you have. So you can just take your tape and tape that to the back of the brush. Then you're going to grab a second piece of tape and lay it over the uh, toilet paper or paper towel, whatever you're using, sticky side up and try to keep your fingers off of it. I know I touched it once there, but try to avoid touching the top uh, as best you can to keep it as sticky as it can be. Then you're going to take a piece of third tape and use that to tape the other piece to the brush. So just try to hold it down as best you can. Again, the silicone tape is easier, but this does work. Cause I know a lot of people don't just have silicone tape on hand. So there you go. You just wrap it around so that the tip of the brush is sticky with like the adhesive side of the tape um, face up. Here's just a quick tip. If you have curved nails like me, you can see I have a pretty deep C curve to my nails. So a lot of tips don't uh, fit very well. So a lot of the times I have to roll the tip and pinch them. So this is how I do that. I just roll it in my fingers and you want to be careful not to just pinch it because that tends to leave a line down the middle and also creases the cuticle area. And my second experiment of the day is I'm going to be trying to apply these with peel off base without anything else. So um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I can't speak for the longevity of it as this is the first time I'm trying it so wouldn't recommend it yet but and here I'm just showing you that uh, these um these things are stuck they're stuck on there they're they're really sturdy against the both the silicone and the regular tape actually so either method should work fine so now you can go ahead and I'm gonna be doing the wet on wet method because it'll be harder to see if you have any bubbles so what the wet on wet is is you apply a little bit of gel to your nail and the tip and it helps reduce the amount of bubbles you get. Um, I wouldn't apply it all the way to the cuticle area when you're applying it on your nail. I find that helps with seepage. But basically what you do is you stick the nail to the brush or pen, whatever you're using, and just rock it on like you would if you were using your fingers. And just kind of look at it from a couple angles, check if you have any bubbles, and then give it a flash cure. And you're going to want to kind of move your finger around just to make sure you're flash curing both sides. And I would recommend flash curing for a little longer than you usually do. And once it comes out of the lamp, you're going to push down and twist it off. Because if you just pull it straight off, this stuff is really sticky and it tends to just tug on the nail. So to avoid any potential pull-offs, it's best to push down and twist it off. One thing I noticed about applying with the peel-off base is it is a lot thinner than a lot of other gels I've ever used to apply. 
So I did experience some bubbles. I just wanted to mention it because I don't think this is a flaw of the method. I think it's just a flaw of the gel I was using. Because you'll see at the end, I do have a couple or way more bubbles than I usually do. But I'm 99% sure it's just because of the gel and not like this technique. When I applied this one, you can see I clearly did not have enough gel. So if you experience this, all you have to do is I like to press down a little bit and slide it off so it kind of um, scrapes off the excess. So push and slide and then I would wipe my nail clean and just start again. If you go right back over it, I find I get a lot more um, gel leaking out the sides. So again, just give that a flash cure a little longer than you usually do and rotate your finger around to make sure it is all getting hit by the light. Pull it out, push down, and twist off. And as usual, to finish up, you can just go around if there's anything that uh, seeped out when you're curing. Just file it off before you do your final cure. And then I just use this ceramic McCart bit and go around my cuticles. And it does have a round tip, so it doesn't hurt at all when you're kind of pressing into the cuticle area like that. And this is probably the easiest bit to use, so I will link that below as well. So once you're done filing, just do a quick clean up, aka blow all the dust onto the floor and worry about it later. Just give them a quick wipe over with some alcohol and you'll be ready for painting. Let me know if you tried this and what you thought of it. Hopefully it made it at least a little bit easier to apply. <laughs> Make sure to like it if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. Nice. Where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race, every move is on the page. But I didn't like their way. Had to fight and misbehave. Had to find a way to change. Had to leave to find my way. Caught up in a daydream. I be in my mind up there almost daily. It's how I pass time, no opinions safely. It's how I understand what I want in this place. See, cause everybody wanna tell you bad things. What could go wrong? What fame brings, but success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be.